Ladies and gentlemen, Silent Mike, answering more questions. If you guys want to get involved, Silent Mike with 2K's Instagram and Twitter, that's where I gain all these questions. Be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, new videos dropping every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. Let's dig into it. Thick questions for thick boys. Peach King and this is my kingdom. This is my throne. Welcome. Is getting into a relationship a good idea when you're trying to take lifting seriously? From my man, Nick Moore. Now, Nick Moore, what I would suggest is that one, you know, I get an, another side question, you know, how do, be, how do I lift for a living or how do I become a professional power lifter? And the truth is there's no real such thing until, uh, of uh, professional power lifting. Um, up until two years ago, there was no power lifting meet that I'm aware of that even pays you enough to live, let alone live comfortably. So um, in that instance, uh, I wouldn't take lifting too, too serious. Um, if you want to be dedicated, if you want to be disciplined, if you want to be really into it, that's absolutely fine. If it's something you love, chase it down. But with all things in life, there has to be balance between work, hobbies, health, and relationships. Um, I think that you need to distinguish whether uh, your hobby is, is a hobby and something you're dedicated to or something you're addicted to. Uh, because this question worries me. Uh, I don't think you should even contemplate that. Uh, you can easily be into lifting. You know, the, the longest a session should take is maybe two or three hours uh, and having a relationship could easily be balanced into that. Um, I guess another thing, you know, if you are that into it is I think having any kind of routine or consistency in both work ethic and discipline in both relationships and the gym go hand in hand easily. So it uh, worries me a little bit that you're thinking about that. I don't know your age. If you're youngish, I understand that you're still trying to figure out relationships with friends and family and, and romantically, um, but uh, don't worry about it. Work on both, give good balance and energy to both and uh, it should be just fine. Maybe I'll steal Ask of the Feels from JK. I wonder if they got that thing copyrighted. We'll just bring it back to this channel. Comment below. Should I just steal Ask the Feels and we'll just put it on right here? I know it had a big following. Let's see. Maybe we'll do Ask the Feels right on this thing. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, uh, we, oop. Uh, my man Sancho says, around what percentage range should I be lifting to maintain strength during cut? Um, so while you're cutting, uh, a big thing to keep on muscle and strength is to train similarly than you did while you bulked or maintained or gained that strength. So uh, again, multiple rep ranges, multiple sets, um, depending on the exercises you use. And then also uh, I'd focus on getting sufficient volume, focusing on technique, and then it's just consistency. If you lose a lot of weight, sometimes leverages change and energy's down a little bit, you may lose some strength, but that's the best way to maintain as much muscle and strength as you can is training similarly. So, you know, I like to train often, uh, you know, average around 70-ish percent. Uh, we will go above that, but the average percent we train around is around 70, uh, and then with a good amount of volume frequency. Best and favorite supplement you've ever taken? For those that have been around a while, I think this channel, uh, I think we just passed or just literally in right now, our three year anniversary. Uh, or those have followed me on podcasts or things I've done in the past. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of supplements. I took uh, way too many of them. I tried every new supplement I could as a kid, you know, ages 18 to maybe even 25. I was buying and spending way too much money on those things, hoping it would help me. Uh, and over the last five years plus, I've made the best progress strength-wise, aesthetic-wise, diet-wise, just by focusing in on my sleep, nutrition, hydration, and programming. Um, so I'm not a big fan of any supplements. There are some that obviously work. I just don't really take them. Vitamins, maybe. Fish oils, maybe. Creatine, maybe. Um, and then personally, I just drink caffeine. The Dark Knight asks, ha uh, have you ever dealt with testosterone levels plummeting? I'm 26 and mine dropped basically to nothing, out of nowhere. Now getting TRT and trying to gain back the muscle back. Any help that would be dope. Um, no, I, I, you know I haven't. I, I, I can't say I've ever had my testosterone checked. Uh, I have had some blood work when I was about 25. Um, just general health blood work and things like that was probably the last time. So four years ago, uh, and everything was good. I don't remember. Uh, they probably checked tests, but I didn't look. Uh, but I've never really had an issue with anything. You know, whether it's sleep or um, hair or energy or whatever. Uh, I don't even know what <laughs> symptoms are, but I feel great. So I think I'm fine. Um, anything to do with actual hormones like that, I would suggest seeing a specialist uh, and seeing your doctor, which it sounds like you are. And then in, in, in the, in the case of just building your muscle back, just have a little bit of patience, man. Now that hopefully you got the TRT that you need, uh, it's just about consistently with your sleep, nutrition, and programming. Uh, have a little bit of patience and you, you'll get back to where you were, man, if not beyond. Christella? asks, when's Thoughty Thursday coming back? Ladies and gentlemen, I may bring it back. You know, it was a, a little controversial. Uh, we got a lot of uh, 
a lot of good traction on there, a lot of positive comments, and we got a lot of negativity on there and some unfollows. Uh, now the unfollows aren't the reason I stopped doing it. Uh, I more uh, just started traveling and things, so I just didn't come up with the poses. Those are well thought out poses and posts, uh, but we may bring it back. Comment below, give this a thumbs up. If we reach a thousand likes, maybe we'll bring back Thoughty Thursday on the grams. Smacking off asks best gym in Tahoe, please. I need it south or north. Um, I do live pretty close to Tahoe. I love Tahoe, um, but I can't say I've really been to any gyms there. I know the homegirl uh, Chrissy May Cagney owns a gym in Reno, which is maybe 45 minutes, depending on where you are in Tahoe, if you're living there. And if you're vacationing there, man, take the weekend off, have a good time, chill on the beach, head to King's Beach, grab a brewski, play a little beach volleyball, have a good time. Um, but I think it's Black Iron is the gym. Um, Chrissy May Cagney on Instagram. Uh, that, that seems like a very well-equipped gym in the Tahoe region. <laughs> Zoham. What's the movie? The Zo Don't Mess With The Zohan asks, what must you do to obtain such a great buttocks? Look, man. Look, man. Let me tell you about how to great, get a great buttocks. This is eight plus years of squats and deads and hours, and I mean hours, of posing practice. Glute spreads, rear glute spreads, front glute spreads, side glute spreads, all of them. But on a serious note, uh, hip hinges and squats. So some type of squat, Bulgarian split squat lunge, some type of hip hinge, RDL, deadlifts, best. If you want uh, icing on the cake, throw down some hip thrusts. That's about all you need, my friend. That's about all you need. My left knee has been hurting during squats. Any suggestion to why this is Daniel son, Daniel son. Uh, when we're talking about any kind of repetitive injury, which happens often with lifting, we have to look at multiple things. Uh, one, I would always look at our technique, see if that knee is shifting or hip is shifting during the lift. Um, two, I'd look at our programming. Maybe you're doing too much too soon. And then three, possibly mobility. So it's hard for me to say without having any context, but those are the things I would take a look at. Um, if it's just maybe overuse, you might be able to smash on your quads or hamstrings or calves a little bit, loosen that up. Uh, make sure you're warming up properly. I often suggest some kind of assault bike, elliptical stairs for 10 to 15 minutes before any kind of lifting and then uh, going through the lift itself, making sure you're nice and warm. Uh, but without any further information, I can't really say my friend, but I'll take a look at those three things. Squat and deadlift leverages for long torso and femur. Um, now there is a time to be uh, analytical when you're a lifter and try to analyze what is the most efficient way for you to move or lift, to lift the most amount of weight or stay healthy. But what I think often happens with all this information that uh, newer or even some intermediate lifters get is they get a little bit of paralysis by analysis. The best way to figure some of that stuff out is just trying different things. Take three to six weeks, use a certain form, videotape yourself, train you know, 60, 70% for singles, doubles, or triples, see how you move, see if you improve, see if it feels good, feel, see if it feels strong, and then make small, tiny incremental adjustments over time until you find that perfect fit. Even still, you know, nine years into powerlifting, I'm still making small incremental uh, changes uh, day by day, training day, rep by rep to try to improve my form. So don't, don't get too caught up on, oh, my arm is 16 inches by 12 inches, so I must bench with my index finger on the rings to be optimally explosive. It's, it doesn't work that way. Um, there are some things that may help or may not help, but overall it's gonna be a little bit of trial and error on your part. Have you ever shit yourself by lifting too much? I have not. I've probably pooted, you know, kind of like a nice fart, but I don't think I've ever actually crapped myself, defecated on the platform by any means. Uh, although this is popular, it does happen. You know, ladies tend to pee themselves, gentlemen tend to poop or throw up. Sometimes things happen, but I have a really good timing and luckily I work for myself that I get to eat, you know, perfectly two and a half or three hours before I train. So normally I'm, normally I'm doing okay. <laughs> Are you trying to go uh, trying out for the New York Giants with that hair? Silent OBJ. You know it, fam. You guys like it. I'm getting a haircut though, so this might be the last time you see the blonde. We'll dye it again maybe, but just the mohawk stan. Just the mohawk stan. What is one thing you always need to do before you work out? Me personally, take a nice poop. Nice poop, some caffeine, and then I like to hop on elliptical for 10 to 15 minutes. Those are kind of the, my routine things. Uh, I like to work out mid-afternoon, makes me feel good. Uh, but otherwise I'm not too picky. 
I'm not too picky. I like, I do have a little bit of a routine while I'm in the gym, like when I put my shoes on, when I put my knee sleeves on, when I tie my shoes, when I get a little bit more serious and focused. But um, overall, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty easy going guy. Try not to take it or myself too serious. What are some good exercises for a beginner with a weak core? Um, you know, I think it overall depends on the goal, but if the goal is just to generally get a, a stronger core, side planks, regular planks, uh, hanging leg raises, and then just the main movements, squat bench dead, standing overhead, whether barbell or dumbbell, um, chin ups, things of that nature. Over time, you'll learn how to breathe and brace um, and stabilize your midline. A lot of it is, some of it is definitely strength and overload. Um, and the stronger you get on squat, you'll have to overload the whole system. Same with deadlift, bench, and overhead. Um, bent over rows, all those things are good. Um, but also some of it is just learning how to actually brace and control your midline uh, and really be stable from your shoulder to your hip, which just happens over repetition and time. So um, squat bench dead, overhead, chin up, bent over row, the basics, uh, plank, side plank. Um, those are kind of my favorite in terms of actual core exercises. Um, and that's it for me, ladies and gentlemen. If you like this video, be sure to smash the thumbs up, subscribe, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, daily vlogs coming soon. Catch you guys in the next one. I'm out.